Okay, last time. This is a Galaxy S8. This is your Galaxy S8 on DeX. Any questions? Oh yeah! Hey guys, Rivers here with Tech Connect. Today I want to take a look at the Samsung DeX. This is a cool little accessory for your Galaxy S8 or X8 Plus, and most likely for the upcoming Note 8 as well. It basically turns your monitor into a PC running Android, which is powered by your smartphone, with all of your apps and data all ready to go on it. I was pleasantly surprised with how nice the interface looked, and how well the desktop was laid out. It's a pretty functional PC. You have access to everything your phone can access, like your quick settings, your notifications, and your calendar. DeX is basically a docking station for your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. And while it's docked, it's also charging your phone. Plus, there's a secret hidden fan in the back plate that goes up against the back of your phone, and it ensures that your phone stays nice and cool even when your phone is working hard playing back media. The fan is completely quiet. I didn't even notice it was there for quite a while. Now let's take a look at the ports. So on the back of the DeX, you've got two USB 2.0 ports, you've got a 10100 Ethernet port, and an HDMI port. The USB ports could be used to connect a wireless mouse and keyboard, or external storage like a thumb drive or hard drive, or I tested it out with a remote control, as you can see here, to use it as a media player, and this actually worked pretty well. So this remote control works as an air mouse, so you've got a pointer on the screen and you can control everything from the remote this way. It's called the Remote Plus and I'll have a link to it in the video description down below. So I also hooked Dex up to a big screen TV to see how it would work as a media player. And it actually works pretty well except for that a lot of apps that play media back can't go full screen. But there is a workaround and I'll show you that right now. So here's what you do. You go to your notifications and where it says Samsung Dex, you put it into screen mirroring mode. Now your phone screen and your monitor will look the same, and you can control it with either the remote control, or you can use your fingers to control it right on the phone. But the cool thing about this is if you go into apps like Netflix, Hulu, that won't let you go in full screen regularly, they will play movies back in full screen in full high resolution. Next, let's talk about keyboards, because this is probably one of the main reasons you would want to use DeX. If you want to type a lot and be very productive, it's hard to beat a keyboard. I hooked up this wireless mini keyboard by LIIR and it works great. Plus it's got a touchpad, so if you don't want to hook up a mouse as well, maybe to save your second USB port, you could use the touchpad instead. Another cool thing is that you can still use voice input or voice to text whenever you like. You can click the voice input by the search boxes or bring up the on-screen keyboard and hit the microphone. The phone will hear you and convert your voice to text. Now I only have two things, my friends and a uh, my thermos, huh? Oh, my story? Okay. I was never easy for me. I was born a poor black child. I remember the days sitting on the porch with my family, singing and dancing down in Mississippi. Another thing that seems to work really well on DeX is the cameras on the Galaxy S8. They work surprisingly well. I was able to use Google Duo on DeX, and my son called on his OnePlus 3 from the other room. This would be great for multitasking because you could have your work and this window on top where you're talking. Also, texting works equally as well on this. I think this would actually be really cool on a big screen TV, so the whole family could talk to grandma and see her all at once and have a conversation at once in the living room. Okay, so I just wanted to show you around the desktop a little bit and how it's arranged. Right here are your buttons that would be on your phone, so like here's your uh, multitasking button, and here's your home button, and then this is your app drawer right here. So you can just go through what apps you have and easily get to them. If you want to bring one out onto the screen, hold it down, then click it again, and then just drag it out. Um, then up here, these are some things that I've used a lot. Um, some apps can go full screen, like this one. If you see these icons here, you can go full screen, no problem. But the problem that I was running into is some apps, they don't let you go full screen. This is kind of what you'd see on the phone. You hit this, you can go like the rotated view that the phone would see which is cool, but you can't drag it any bigger. So there is the workaround that I showed you for apps that you want to watch a movie on, but hopefully they could fix this in the future. Uh, but it is good for multitasking, you know, because it keeps everything in the, their own little window. But then there's also apps that are made for the decks that work great on here. So like the Samsung internet browser, 
I mean, it's just like a web browser on your desktop. I mean, it's so fast and it's just the same. Then these are all your apps running uh, kind of in memory. So if you click these, they'll like quickly, quickly pop up. So over here on the bottom is kind of like your notifications and quick launch settings. So if you hit this, you can see your notifications. You can close some out if you want to. And you can switch over to Dex mirroring mode if you want from there. And then here, say you want to get more information on your battery. This will pull up, uh, quickly get to your battery settings right here. And then let's see, there's also your on-screen keyboard, which is really nice to have. Uh, your media settings, so you can you know, adjust the volume of just the media playback if you want to. So then you could also take a screenshot if you want to. And then you could uh, edit the screenshot if you wanted to do it from there. And then there's a magnifying glass and your calendar, which is very helpful to have. And last but not least, the decks can handle phone calls while you're working. The audio all goes through your phone, which kind of makes sense because you need the microphone, which is only on the phone and not in your monitor. You're in a YouTube video right now. I'm working on this desk. I'm working on the Samsung DeX, you know, the dock for your phone. One last thing that I thought I would mention, since DeX is basically a docking station, some cases won't let it make a nice connection. Cases like this where the bottom is open or this guy from Samsung work with no problem. I have a few different cases I've tested with DeX that I know are working. I'll link to them in the description below. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the review with a list of pros and cons. And I'm gonna have this list down in the video description as well. So if anything changes in the future, since I can't change the video, I'll have that list be the most updated version in case Samsung fixes some of these things. So let's start off with the cons. First, uh, DeX is about 90% perfected, but there's a few bugs that still need to be worked out. Uh, the main one is that some apps can't go full screen, especially the media playback apps. And there's a few apps that won't even run. For example, uh, Dogcatcher, my favorite podcast app. So hopefully that can be fixed as well. Now on the plus side, almost all the Google apps work great on there, including YouTube. Also in desktop mode, the audio output only outputs through the phone and not through the HDMI, unless I couldn't figure that out. But that would be nice to have an option to change that. And finally, I think that the price is a bit high, especially considering that you already bought a $700 phone. I paid $150 for my Dex, and I think closer to 100 would be a fair price. I do know the price is dropping though. And now let's go over what I really like about DeX. I think DeX is just really cool. It's what I've always wished for a media player. I wish every hotel, office, and computer monitor had something like DeX connected to it. It would be so awesome to just sit down and have your own computer configured exactly how you want it, ready to use. Plus, watching your media would be so much easier in a hotel room. I'd love to see this on other Android phones as well, and also on the iPhone. I also like having a mouse and keyboard that I can use with Android for increased productivity and I'm impressed that voice to text works so well and I really like that the cameras work so well too. It took me a little while to get used to using DeX, but after having used it for a few weeks here, I really love it. Once I can easily sit down and listen to my podcasts on Dogcatcher, I'll be completely set and use DeX all of the time. And again, I'll have an updated list of all the pros and cons in the video description down below, and that will be right below a link to the DeX and all the hardware you saw in the video. So remember, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and as always, aloha.